Training.com with UFC vet Sam Stout. Just finished a uh, rigorous training session. Heading forward to, looking forward to your fight in UFC in, uh, over in London, right? Yep, Against yep. Terry Etim. UFC 89, that's right. How's your training coming? Coming great already. Um, I'm just, just under eight weeks out, so this is really when I start cranking up the training. And, uh, you know, Coach Nick's been coming down from Toronto and helping us out while I'm, while I'm here in Canada before I head to Vegas. And uh, he's been a big help, uh, as you could just see by uh, watching that last training session. It's, uh, it's pretty tough. You know, he runs a good workout. So uh, between that, for, uh, for wrestling, and we've got a couple other wrestling coaches coming in to help. Um, we've been working on our striking, obviously, like we always do here. Uh, training's going just great. Everything's, everything's coming together already. We're still a ways out. Sounds good. Now, any, any concerns fighting a guy of Terry's height? Um, Anything you do differently? Yeah, it's always a little tougher fighting the tall, lanky guys. Um, they're a little tougher to get in on. But, you know, there's some things we're going to be working on to, to get that, um, you know, to, to figure that out. Um, I actually had the, the opportunity recently just to fight uh, to fight a, a tall guy in uh, Martin Grandma. He's about about the same size and body type as, uh, as Terry um, at UFC, or at uh, TKO, TKO 30, 31, I believe it was. And, uh, you know, I managed to knock him out, so hopefully I can do the same to uh, Terry here. For sure. What about going over to his home turf? You couldn't drag him to Canada? Um, you know, I, it would be nice to do another one in Canada, but, um, you know, the, the benefit to fighting over in England is, you know, I don't have as many distractions and stuff. It's pretty much just there's one thing to focus on, and that's the fight. Whereas, you know, Montreal was a great time, and it was great to, to finally get a chance to fight in front of my, uh, you know, my country and, and all my, my uh, home fans. But uh, at the same time, it's, it's kind of nice to be able to just have one thing to focus on and really set, devote your mind to that for sure when we head over there how much training time we divide between here and then uh, um, okay. well we're opening up a new gym right down the street from uh, from this location we're expanding to a 11,000 square foot space we're, um, so we're kind of we got that going right now so I'm gonna start my training camp here in Canada and probably divide it half and half this time so I'll, I'll head out about a month before the fight and go out to um, out to Vegas which is gonna work out really great this time because uh, Tyson Griffin's getting ready for uh, Sean John Shark, who's and Tyson's become a really good training partner of mine, and, and uh, as well as uh, Gray Maynard is getting ready to fight uh, uh, Clemente, I believe, right. and um, and I believe I believe Mac has a fight coming up as well. So we're all you know all our training camps are will all be going on at the same time, which uh, which is always a plus when I'm when I'm getting ready for a big fight to have those guys all really going hard as well, and all all of us be pushing each other. So it's really gonna you know that's gonna be nice. Oh, for sure. Now, if I understand correctly, it's yourself, Mark Hominick, Chris Ward. Decky and a few investors opening up the facility here in London, Ontario. That's right. That's right. See Adrenaline Training Center. Is that correct? Um, yeah, it's going to be called the Adrenaline Training Center, the, the new home of Team Tompkins. So, um, yeah, we're going to have all all brand new equipment, brand new uh, you know brand new facility. Everything's going to be top of the line now. Instead of uh, you know we've been telling everybody uh, that it's not it's not the gym that that makes the fighters. It's it's the people who are training in the gym. But uh, it's definitely still going to be. To it nice doesn't gym. hurt to have a nice gym and have good guys training in it, so uh, I'm looking forward to that. Sure. Yeah. Good luck, Sam. Right. Uh, good luck in your fight, and thanks for your time. No Thank you.